So uh, I'm, I'm Shaw Selby. I'm the founder of Conservify and um, the lead of the Field Kit project. And this is the, the third year we've been to Supercon. Uh, my name is Jacob Llewellyn. I'm one of the principal engineer at Conservify. This is my third Supercon, uh, the third of many. You know, with Field Kit, we, we created Field Kit to try and um, make it a lot easier to collect scientifically relevant data at a lower cost. We, at Conservify, we work a lot with scientists all over the world. And the one thing that they can't afford is, you know, the expensive scientific gear that people use to monitor ecosystems and understand how the planet's changing. Um, and so we're really, we're really looking at just the huge explosion in electronics that we've seen over the last couple of years and ways that we can bring in those systems into, into modern times. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with, uh, I think Shaw can speak more to this. Uh, one of the reasons why scientific gear is really expensive is that you have all, a lot of these entrenched interests that developed a lot of this hardware uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, and they're just sort of writing that R&D uh, out. And, um, and it's, been, it's been the case, I think, only recently, maybe, this is not true, but people are, there's a renewed interest in gathering more and more data, and so uh, with the budgets being what they are, the budgets haven't grown with the cost of the, you know, to match the, the, the requirements of having to do that kind of at scale type thing. Yeah, a lot, a lot of times the only tool that's out there to measure some environmental parameter is just made by one company or one individual. And so when you have that sort of thing, like they can charge whatever they want, right? And, and, it, and it creates a disservice for anybody who's trying to understand the world and doesn't have a giant grant budget to do so. Um, so we're really excited about how FieldKit kind of can change that landscape and at the same time um, change the kinds of questions we can ask, right? If you have you know, 10,000 radiation monitors as opposed to one very expensive one, you can ask a very different type, sort of question. You can understand the changes that this planet is going through like in, in a much different sort of way. So the, the field kit hardware, it's a modular system. Um, we have what we call our uh, the, the core, which has a microcontroller, radio, uh, GPS, uh, and various power circuitry. And then there's a board that modules attached to it. And uh, we hope that a lot of the opportunity that FieldKit will provide will be in those modules. Um, initially, we've got modules for doing water quality, uh, weather, and what we're calling a distance module, which can be used for all kinds of applications, uh, primarily water level. Um, but then we've got lots of other modules in the pipeline, things like air quality, uh, soil moisture, uh, and those sorts of things. Um, and we're also, because FieldKit's an open platform, we're really excited about what people will, will make for themselves, module-wise, um, yeah. especially people doing hard science and that kind of thing. Yeah, we're hoping that you know we can have a not only a community of users that are using FieldKit to gather this sort of data, but you know people in the Hackaday community that are actually building their own modules or you know hacking some of the modules that we create into like new and, and exciting things. So we're we're really fascinated with what people will take FieldKit and do with, as opposed to just like the projects that we work on. At Conservify. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's incredibly nerve wracking to sit there and wait. I mean, every time we would hear a new uh, Hackaday Prize, you know, category being announced, I was thinking in my head, yeah, this is definitely us. There's no way we're winning the top prize, yeah. you know. But then as those those categories started to disappear, you know, it started to become more and more real. So it's just it, it's it's such an amazing feeling. We, I said it last night. Um, we're a nonprofit, so like this sort of money is hugely transformative to the stuff that we're doing. You know, everything we get, we, we have to chase grants to try and get this money, and that stuff's not easy for getting it uh, for technology. You know, a lot of the grant organizations, they don't understand we're gonna give money for tech development. It's just a new paradigm in that world. So, like, this is a, a big deal for us. I think part of it is we absolutely love this community. You know, we've, we've been, um, spent a ton of time at the design lab. We're based in LA, so we come here quite often. Um, last year, this time, we actually hired our first elect el electrical engineer at Supercon. Like the first employee, yeah, was yeah, actually sourced, uh, yeah, was here at last year's Supercon. So it's like deeply ingrained in in like FieldKit and what FieldKit has become. So yeah, it's really important to us. Yeah, I like to think sometimes too that FieldKit, the story of FieldKit's uh, most recent uh, burst of development. Uh, is also a story of our experience with Hackaday and the yes. community, yeah. and um, and just the, how rewarding it is and how special it is. Yeah. I, if I'm giving advice to somebody that's just interested in doing the kind of work you're doing. I would say get out in the field as, as often and as early as you possibly can, um, and don't be afraid of the electronics. 
um, we probably as a company spent way too much time in the, you know, before actually embarking upon the surface mount, uh, you know, approach. And I, in hindsight, I wish we would have just jumped into that right away. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd also say, you know, putting electronics out in the wild is just absolutely prone to failure. So like, <laughs> you cannot ever be worried or scared about failing if you're in this sort of business. Like, you're always gonna fail. You just try and learn from it as you're going through it. And, and you know, as he said, like, get out there early, put things out and try and learn from those experiences. Like, you can't just go and like do a big sensor deployment somewhere without testing it a bunch. I mean, we've done that. We've gone and done a big sensor deployment without testing it a bunch. It's not and it's gonna go not, it's not good, yeah, it's yeah. not good. So yeah, <laughs> so experiment, test, put things out, and just learn from it, I would say, yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I wanna just thank the community, thank the Hack Hackaday team and, and Supply Frame and everybody involved. It's just, it's this is a really great, uh, great community to, that you could get so much out of it if you like really try and help and be open and just like meet people. There's just so many fantastic people here. And I mean, there's other people other than Sean and myself that have been working on Field Kit, uh, and the work they put in has been just uh, just amazing. Yeah. So uh, it's not not just Sean and I doing this. So yep. We've had a lot of people uh, help us out. Yep.